Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Donnie Baseball back with another video. Today we got a little comparison for you guys. We got a blaster box of 2022 update versus two hanger boxes. Um, so basically, if you guys don't know, these are pretty much, you can find these anywhere from like 12 bucks to $15 per hanger box. And then this usually is 25. Um, I actually got a really good deal on these. I went to Barnes and Noble. And I got the blaster box for $19.99 plus tax with the educator discount, thanks to my mom being a teacher. And then for the hanger boxes, I actually got one of these. So you can only get one type of box per customer at a time. So I got $9.59 for one of the hanger boxes. The other one was from my previous stock. Um, and then I also got a Chrome Update Mega Box for $40, bucks, which is pretty good, really good deal there. So. Um, I'm going to get right into these and we're going to see basically which one produces better results, the blaster or the two hangers. I'm going to start off with the blaster and see what we can find. So at 20 bucks, the 2189, including tax in California, this is like probably the best deal you can get that you can find. Um, so hopefully you can produce some hits so i'll put them up put whatever the best cards are this one's got a lot of air in it put up what the best cards are of each uh pack as we go through so we got a cj abrams stars of mlb on the back we got an o'neill cruz rookie jose quintana ryan presley rookie combos we got a MVP caliber, got Bo Brisky, Brad Boxberger, Dancing in Detroit, Aaron Savali. So we got a rainbow foil on the first pack. It's gonna be a jo Jonathan Loisaga. And we got a number card. It's gonna be an icy green Matt Chapman. Okay, so that's out of 499. And then a Shane McClanahan generation now with the CJ Abrams Stars of MLB. So I'll try and keep separate piles, um, like up and down, so. Try and keep separate piles as we go along. On the back of this one, we got an O'Neill Cruz Stars of MLB. Got Ryan Pepio, Seiya Suzuki, Rookie debut, Jake Walsh rookie, Josh Stamont, Zach Davies, Jose Azacar, Andrelton Simmons, JP Sears, Jake Fraley, George Kirk Kirby debut, Joe Ryan, and then back to the Stars of MLB. I'll go through the base later. Um, so just the Stars of MLB in that one. I believe this is going to be the Relic Pack. Feels pretty thick. So, yeah, we got the Helmet Relic in this one. We got Jaron Duran on the back. Stars of MLB. We got a Bobby Witt debut. I guess I'll make a little bit of a top rookie pile. Tyro Estrada. Lodolo. We got Dickerson. Roberto Perez. Rene Pinto. And then our Relic. We got a Corbin Burns All-Star Game, Tatis, 35th Anniversary, nice, and it's one of the better rookies, looks like we got a little nick in it, I don't know if that's able to come off or what, but looks like it's a nick in the paper up here, we got a Jeremy Pena Helmet Relic, so... If you guys don't know, this is something that's guaranteed in the blaster box. It's supposed to bring up the value. They're really heavy. They're pretty cool. I mean, you get one per box. I wish it, I, I honestly wish they went back to the old days, like where it was like a patch or a bat relic, but at least you get something. At least you get a hit, guaranteed hit in the box. So we get a Bobby Witt Jr. on the back. Reed Detmers. We got a J-Rod debut. Nice one right there. 
Rob Schneider, Wander debut. Torkelson, rookie. So that's a full of rookies. And then Bobby Witt, Jr., Stars of MLB on the back. So we got three more packs for the blaster box, and we'll get right into the hanger boxes. We got Brandon Crawford. I guess I'll go to the front. Not too much right now. We got a George Kirby rookie. He's one of the better rookies. Or better pitcher rookies. We got Nick Whitgren and then a Christy Mathewson die cut. Not bad. Two more packs. Got Matt Chapman starting to be on the back. You got Andre Payant, Corey Seager, Eddie Harris Montero, Stephen Kwan, rookie debut, 3,000 hits, Miggy, a Verlander All Star game, and Matt Chapman. Stars from MLB. All right, last pack of the blaster. Let's see if we can get something pretty big here, or at least something decent. Got Sonny Gray, Cooper Hummel, Brendan Donovan. Top's making me flip the cards. We got an Alec Thomas rookie debut. Joe Perez, Nico Goodrum. Looks like we got a blue. Hunter Dozier and upside down. It is going to be a Roberto Perez blue. And then we got also have a Ken Griffey Jr. 35th anniversary so a couple of we got quite a few inserts in the uh in the first one in the blaster box so we got one numbered card two other parallels so let's see if the hanger boxes can can compete with that i gotta imagine if you can get two decent hanger boxes you should be able to get a couple more parallels so Hanger box number one, here we go. I'm gonna skip through the base pretty quick. Pick out any of the better rookies. Not a whole lot going on early in the pack. So we've got an MJ Melendez. Um, MJ Melendez. Base, we got one last dance. I like that card. Alec Thomas, Joe Perez. Looks like we got an orange here. Bryson Stott, rookie. Okay, we got an Adrianza. Oh, I just dropped the Adrianza. That shows a Tyler Naquin gold with an orange right behind it. So let's do this. Our orange is going to be Matt Olson. So we got two numbered cards right off the bat. That is number five out of 299. We got Yu Darvish, Vidal Brujan, Torkelson, and Austin Riley. And then we got a Seiya Suzuki Tops Black Gold. A big fan of the Black Golds. I'm surprised we didn't get one in the blaster, to be honest. But then we got a Mackenzie Gore 87 style. So I'll put that in the rookie inserts. And then let's go through Joe Ryan, pretty good rookie. Rene Pinto, Schwarber, Torkelson, better one. I think Torkelson's going to have a bounce back year. I think, I mean, playing against him in college, even though he struggled against us in one game, he was one of the best college hitters in like a long time. Him and Andrew Vaughn, two of the better guys that I played against. Suzuki. So I'd expect him to bounce back next year. I know he's not as young as some of the prospects, but he's got pretty legit tools offensively. Now his defense, I, you never really know, which might is gonna, might hurt his war, but I think his offense will bounce back as he gets more and more accustomed to big league pitching, you know. And if he can make adjustments against the adjustments being made on him. 
I think that's basically how you survive in the MLB is two ways. You either have the adjustments you can make to protect against teams like trying to pitch you to your weaknesses. If you can make your weaknesses better, then that's a really good thing. So sounds pretty self-explanatory, but Helio Ramos, Josh Winder. You got another orange. That's interesting. We got a Bobby Wood Jr. Reed Detmers. Wander debut. Oh my God. What is this box? Looks like we got a, we got a pink. I almost just gave it away. I think, I think it said it was a Rocky. So we got Miguel Castro. Meh. Get right to the pink. We got Jose Iglesias pink. God, the pink looks so good. God, that's a bummer. I wish, I wish we could have pulled someone really good out of there. So we got a pink out of 50. We got an orange. And looks like there's another blue. So this one's 32 out of 50. We got a rookie orange of Anderson Severino for the White Sox. That's out of 299, I believe, or 399. 299. And then we got a blue. I don't know how to say his first name. We got a blue Adrianza. That one looks pretty off center. Top corner looks a little soft up here, but we got a blue Adrianza. And then ooh, just dropped a bunch of cards. That's not good. <laughs> we got an O'Neill Cruz, Stars of MLB. CJ Abrams, Stars of MLB. Bryson Stott. And Andrew McCutcheon. And then our black gold is a Vlad Jr. We got a Sunny Gray. I haven't seen this card yet. It's interesting. Sunny Gray, 35th anniversary. Yohan Duran, the guy with the 100 mile an hour splitter. La Vista Da. A Gabriel Arias with a bunch more base back here. So. Let's skip through this pretty quickly. Interesting. Get a Lodolo. There's a J-Rod. Royce Lewis. Pujols, my favorite player. Jose Miranda. CJ Abrams debut. And Kevin Gutierrez. All right, I'm going to do a quick little recap. And I'll let you guys tell me who you think won. So at first we got a, for the blaster box, we got the blue of Roberto Perez, the rainbow foil of Eliza, green of Matt Chapman, a bunch of inserts. We got stars of MLB, King Griffey Jr. I don't really count the stars of MLB as inserts. We got a all-star game, die cut, another 35th anniversary all-star game, generation now. Here's the rookie stars of MLB. These are a little bit more valuable. And then our relic of Jeremy Pena. And then obviously we got some pretty decent rookies out of the out of the hanger boxes, but I'm going to show only these cards. I guess I'll go to the inserts first. We got Sonny Gray, Vlad Jr., then these stars will be, which I don't think are worth really anything. We got O'Neill Cruz, stars will be, CJ Abrams, Bryson Stott, Adal Bruhan, Torkelson, Mackenzie Gore, 35th anniversary. Say Suzuki, black gold. And here are the parallels. We got Adrianza blue, an orange of Anderson Severino of 299, another orange of Matt Olson, all star out of 299, Jose Iglesias out of 50, Mother's Day pink, and a Tyler Naquin gold out of 2022. So. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and say that the hanger boxes have a little bit more value um, just based on the numbered cards that we got. I know not every box is going to have low numbered parallels, but I think the amount of parallels that we got gives you a way better chance of getting a big guy like J-Rod or Jeremy Pena or Bobby Wood Jr. So let me know what you guys think. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.